It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're tuned into your feel-good breakfast show espresso right here on SABC3. And I also welcome you back to the start of a whole new year. 2018 is here. And to unpack the technology trends that could dominate our year, yeah, we are joined this morning by our resident tech expert, Brian Smith. Brian, lucky to have you back. And happy new Thank year, you. my friend. Thank you to you as well. It's yeah. good to be back. Listen, I'm sure you guys are, are looking forward to this year with all the tech developments uh, happening. It's going to be, be a big one. It's going to be a big one. And we kind of talked about some of those big ones. Um, something really exciting in 2017, the talk of bendable and foldable kind of devices. How does that look in terms of you know going forward in 2018? What can we expect? Absolutely. So for the past 10 years, we've sort of embraced smartphones in a rectangular form factor, and that's kind of the one people most identify them with. However, in 2018, we'll see the year of foldable devices. Now, the image we see on screen, I must stress, so, is, a, so, is a concept, okay, okay. but it most closely illustrates what we've seen out of the rumor mill and what some manufacturers have committed to developing in 2018, Samsung being one of them, in that we will see foldable devices that may be able to extend and become more tablet-like. Tablet sales have sort of stagnated internationally, yeah. so it'll be really interesting interesting to have a wider canvas with which to do all sorts of uh, adventures on the online space. So what you want to say is you can carry your laptop around your pocket right now? Hopefully that'll be the future one day. I think wow. 2018 will be the, the first generation of these kind of devices, yeah. but this hopefully will set a, a trend to come in, in years okay. to follow. Well, that definitely is very, very exciting. Now, moving on to, to space news. Of course, everyone's very, very excited mm -hmm. about the possibility of traveling to Mars, uh, returning to the moon. What is going to be happening in the world, uh, in the world, not the world, but space and space travel in 2018? 18. What can we see? That's a great question with a very interesting answer in that under the Obama administration, NASA was very focused on colonizing Mars. And while that idea is still on the back burner under Donald Trump, NASA sort of been refocused to journey towards the moon. And 2018 will be the year we don't see many concrete milestones. However, it'll be the groundwork, so to speak, of NASA and Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, mm -hmm. building a new space station called the Deep Space Gateway, which will sort of be the frontier for space exploration deeper into our solar system. So it'll be a, a, a satellite system in orbit around our moon, which will be really okay. exciting to see come together. Okay, okay. Well, definitely looking forward to that. And who knows? I, I would love to see the progress that they're going to be making mm, as well in definitely. terms of, are we actually going to get to Mars <laughs> yes. soon? Um, artificial intelligence, bringing it back to Earth. Um, scary concept. There's some really crazy stories that emerged last year as well. But... Going into 2018, how do you think artificial intelligence will become a little bit more kind of user-friendly, I think, for the average person? I think artificial intelligence is a, is a terrifying concept to most people, but it's actually one we, we sort of navigate, all of us, in our day-to-day. -day. If you log on to Facebook, you're dealing with algorithms at play, you're dealing with machine learning, artificial intelligence. And 2018, I think, will be the year that we really get to grips with artificial intelligence in the most helpful sense, in that companies around the world, Samsung, Google, have all been working to yield more helpful and informative artificial intelligence systems and hopefully this will be the year in inverted commas we get it right and that these systems will improve not only research around the world but also our day to day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, once again, I think this is a very, very exciting and interesting field as well. Like you're saying, you know, with things like Facebook, we don't even know we're using artificial intelligence. Definitely. But it's there. It's There's around algorithms us. behind the scene that we don't see playing. Exactly. Yeah. Brian, thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's going to be a very exciting year. I'm sure you are very excited, like I've mentioned. And uh, of course, if you want to explore and unpack all of the major technology news stories as they emerge, head over to bandwidthblog.com.